Sagittarius, welcome, welcome, welcome to your energy reels. It's my pleasure to read for you, as you know. Also, as you know, these readings are ultimately timeless and signless, so you don't have to have any particular placements in the sign of Sagittarius or to be watching this video at the time that it's being published for the messages to be for you. Whoa, I was looking at this card. What is that? For the messages to be for you. If you feel... Um, like it resonates, then chances are there are messages for you, but of course use your own discernment. And if you don't find that the messages that come through for you today resonate, then I would invite you to come back later and to see whether you are able to consciously relate to what is being mentioned in this video, okay? If you'd like to work more personally with me, you know exactly where to find me, Bing, right there. The link to my Etsy page is also on this page that you're viewing. All right, let's jump in. Huh, I fumbled through that. <laughs> that message <laughs> all right let's jump into this reading already <laughs> so Sagittarius it looks like right now you may let me feel into it yeah it looks like right now you may have you feel like you may have like you are perceiving that that's what I mean you feel like you are you have a feeling that you may have stumbled onto something that is correct that is right like this is it this is what I'd like or this makes sense but I would invite you to wait a little bit longer before you pull any triggers on anything because it feels like uh, this is one of three options or one of three moments for you before you reach the right one or you meet the right one or the right option or right contract or the right appointment appointment I meant to say apartment but appointment came through now I do want to point out that when I say one of three before you reach, uh, my Virgo mind is already asking questions like, oh, does that mean like the third one could be it or does it mean that it's going to be the fourth one? Honestly, it could be either one of those, but we know that it's not, it's, it's likely not one and two. <laughs> now, the reason why someone's grandmother is coming in here now to like support this situation to push you through this situation there may be some type of well i was going to say there may be some type of portal and uh we're having an eclipse right now <laughs> literally eclipse day when i'm talking about this but uh so sometimes i've noticed in the energy fields of uh, my clients or within the collective when i'm reading for you guys i'll definitely around certain times and i don't really follow these times i do my best but your girl's busy with a day job and everything so <laughs> i do my best but i'm often reminded of significant times because I note it in the energy field like I'll be like oh there's a portal here and and people are trying to transition from one into the next and 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 it's very common like right now when I just told you that I feel a grandmotherly energy pushing you through trying to push you through it's very common sometimes that we receive assistance to get us packed and ready to make that journey or that transition we also may receive um, uh, information thank you that helps us to pack ourselves up and now I want to say that uh, and I there's a nod to cells as well as in cellular stuff the reason why they are saying that last part is because uh, let's say for example you're dragging along in a relationship and it's like all right pack it up three minutes 33 seconds pack it up already and and move to where you need to go shift transition but you're like oh but what if and oh but I can't and so sometimes what spirit will do is they'll arrange for information to reach you so you'll hear around the way of something that boom allows you to just close it off quickly like I don't want this anymore or whatever the information is or the opportunity or whatever that energy is that comes in assists you in getting into your next step so that's kind of like a they're saying like a courteous push it's they're, they're so fun they're like it's the push from behind that you don't feel like <laughs> the way they said it I don't know why but it's said in like a cute little Russian accent that I did not try to do because <laughs> um so yeah think of it as a little bit of a jump start so please around this time whatever we have these moments these portally times as I like to say it um try not to and this is hard, I get it, because for me too, I, I struggle with this too, but try not to attach too much to the how these things unravel or build up or how engagement happens, all of this. Don't 
focus on the how because then you will get stuck again because when you get into the how now you're bringing your emotions your thoughts your and you know as we say on this channel a lot of course in miracles teaches us you're not really thinking you think you're thinking but you're not thinking because how could you be having any thoughts real thoughts when all of your stuff all of your thoughts is, are based on misperceptions right so Anyway, I won't get into this whole talk. You guys know I love that book and I love it. I love it. <laughs> so just make sure you check for the posts that I try to bring out after work shifts, in between work shifts, um, because I do talk a lot about those kinds of things. It's deprogramming, deconditioning, and clearing your energy field, working on your projections in in actuality we're all fine there's no there's nothing wrong with us you know from a higher level of perception like we're out here just chilling just trying new things um so the soul's fine all of this but down here in this experience of duality a lot of people are crying myself included we're crying out so the idea is well if you don't want to be in pain anymore then you know like clean it up clean up your beliefs because you're just living in what you've created what you've made for yourself is a more accurate idea so today they're saying for whoever you guys are you need not be of a Sagittarian distinction they're saying that you are not quite there yet wherever there is so don't just get tired and just sign off on the first contract don't just get tired and exhausted and nihilistic and upset and confused and stagnant don't give in to these things and then just pull the trigger on something prematurely all right think about it as like oh I see a rainbow and that's it I'm gonna pitch tent here but it's like wait keep going because at the other end of the rainbow is actually where the gold is and that's where we would like to send you I do want to shout out by the way that I am perceiving of gold here and not because cute she's looking at this gold but I'm just I'm getting it so I'm just letting you know for some of you that may be significant and like I said I'm usually pretty busy obviously I don't post as much as I would love to because the, literally working 40 hours a week and probably more and so I sometimes don't get something until like it's told to me like the recently my guides have been saying golden gateway golden gateway and you know me I'm like what are we talking about what are we talking about so I go online and I'm like what is that right and so uh long story short that's the gold reference as well i'm not sure if it's the same thing for you guys but i just wanted to present as much as i can since we're talking about gold what is that oh kind of looks like an offer huh it looks like an offer so they're showing this they're showing see how she's super cute representing you the viewer and she's looking into this ace of coins in my mind everybody who wields a coin you know one coin in a, in in the pentacles is going to be holding the ace of coins and that's kind of how life is anyway we're we you know divinity is all around us we have divinity within us we literally it's like the fish in the water in, in water like water is all over and they just they can't see it because they're so in it but what happens is that you can best assess and best experience the joy of divinity when you see yourself at your at your highest in whatever it is that you're pursuing in whatever is being presented to you if some well first of all anything that comes into your purview including this message is representative of an aspect of you I don't care if you saw it on the news don't at me just understand the way energy flows it's representing an aspect inside you and energy within you and that makes sense because we are everything and so that's why of course in miracles teaches us that our free will we're always wondering but what is my free will your free will is in the ability to choose the energy behind what your choices are you can choose sorry they're so noisy next door young families please be mindful <laughs> sorry anyway i'm in the middle of this <laughs> my guides know there i just get so frustrated sometimes but anyway um, it, and me not choosing love right there. Okay, guys, thank you. Okay, but all day, all day. Dogs, cats, everything. <laughs> but that's an example. So in every moment, something happens, something comes into your energy, into your awareness. What do you do in that moment? Choosing love or choosing, you know, any other emotion that's not love-based in that moment is coming from a fear. And that's a whole other discussion to trace that back right but it's there so it happens just like that you're like ready to like 
say Arr! and in that moment that's the moment you you know catch yourself and you really like sit with yourself what's coming up and why and even though we legit in the 3d have so many reasons why what we are experiencing um make sense we may even find validation for it out in the world like yeah dude be considerate of your neighbors and all of this at the end of the day it's really you can always pull it back inside to something that is a misperception and that's you know that kind of fleshing out is best left for a counseling session if you're interested in looking at how all of that goes back to you always come see me um, and we can get into that but that's a quick example so let's say something comes in let's say these offers let's go back to the offers you may you may you know have different reasons for wanting to gravitate towards those things but as they were saying if something doesn't reflect back to you the loving side of you right if something is re is reflecting back to you um, angst or stress or confusion or or indecision things like that chances are that you should really uh, pump the brakes and consider what's coming up for you and why you are experiencing in your now moment irrespective of whatever the form is whatever person place thing situation idea children and dogs barking 24 hours right whatever the thing is instead focus on the emotion what's coming up are you getting angry are you getting sad are you getting frustrated are you confused are you and that's your invitation to inquiry so it's very important i think the reason why we're spending so much time on that point right here is because I am really getting that there's like, see my hands can't really move because it's in the energy here. I'm really getting that there's a liminal space where some of you are in right now, where your perceptions and, and what you've got going on inside energetically really matters because, and it, that makes sense that it really matters because we are at a time right now where manifestation could be occurring of course people some some astrologers say you shouldn't be doing manifestation rituals or things like that around eclipses and then others say that you should and you know me i think you should always go inward for a lot of things because um it's always good to listen to other people and see what other people have to offer on the subject but your foundation starts by getting quiet and creating a foundation of connection to spirit for yourself and from that standpoint then you can go out outward and then you know bring your personal experience to what others have found out and that's that's what brings you into a place of leadership as opposed to just following it's like oh, i want to do this what is everyone else doing who says what's the best thing to do and then you don't actually run it through your system yet i hope that makes sense and right now you're being asked to really get grounded with yourself look at the nuances look at what's coming up for you because energetically whatever you're experiencing in, in your now moment is what is setting the stage for what is to come for you you know how it is when you have your now moment and that now moment of emotions and beliefs is what creates the timelines or, or calls into solidity the timelines that um, are going to be most appropriate for you so during this kind of time where it's very sensitive the energy sensitive I would say to really shore up whoop, to yourself or it should sound like like that shore up get grounded feel into yourself Become aware of what's coming up in any given time of the day. Take a look at it. What's underneath this? What is the unconscious belief that I'm carrying? <clears throat> what is the unconscious belief that I'm carrying as well? That's a subtle nod to the next thing I was going to say. And also do your best to clear your energy field. Right now, a lot of you are still kind of doing your clearings, purging, things like that. The more that you do these things, the more you're able to get a higher vibration and thereby attract new options for you if right now is a time of manifestation that's kind of why the guides are like saying really get focused and do your best so at this time of an eclipse and and i believe it's a new moon you can have the opportunity to um really really capitalize on the manifestation energies the the calling into matter that is happening right now okay i hope all of that makes sense <laughs> 
<laughs> now it's all quiet with the dogs. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> all right. Love you guys. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Pink. <laughs>